basically because we like stories. Because we like stories. Basically, once um, obviously this lockdown started, we decided to start sharing our bedtime stories. It was to encourage him to do some reading, and I thought it, initially I was just putting them on Facebook so family could see them, because um, obviously he spends a lot of time with his grandparents, and he's not getting a chance to see very much of them. So. Um, the idea was they'd get to see a bit of him and what he was up to and what he, and that. So and then people said they were enjoying them, so I, I put them on the YouTube channel, and it was to encourage him because he can obviously he can see the likes coming in and you know people reading them and that. So it gives him a bit of encouragement and it makes it easier for me to say, come on, we've got to do tonight's story because they'll go, oh, okay, yeah. So but then um, yeah, just you know if anybody gets anything out of it, even if it's you know just a encourages somebody else to, to pick up a book and have a read, you know. He doesn't start school till September, so it, it's anything from literally books with half a dozen words on a page to he is he is really good at reading because he's always really enjoyed it, so it's something that he's taken to. Yeah, you need to finish jocking in school, don't you? We've just been literally working our way through his, his, his bookshelf and trying to pick different things. Some nights he's a bit too tired by the time we get round to it, so we, we pick something a bit shorter. Like Simon Sock. Yeah, we, he's, he's got a book that he really loves called Simon Sock, but it's a bit long. So we've had a couple of goes at video and that, and it gets a bit a bit of a drag. Yay. So, <laughs> so we, we parked that one. We'll get round to it eventually. What did we read last night? Cool. You can. What did we read last night? One of your favourites. Dinosaurs in the supermarket. So please, dinosaurs jump out shouting, BOO! Splat! The end! The end.